Hey everybody, welcome back to another Story Circle session. I guess it's cool that you're here. Just kidding, I'm thrilled to see you. <laughs> My friends, we've been taking all month to talk about the beach. What happens when you bring your imagination to the beach, all the fun you can have when you play near the water. But today, we're gonna talk about the ocean as a habitat. A habitat is a natural home for animals. In our story today, we're gonna swim through the ocean and see lots of different sea creatures and all the different ways that they call the ocean their home. Before we open up our book, we've got to do our check-in question. What's your favorite sea creature? What's your favorite sea creature? As always, I want you to pause this video and go find someone at home who's available that you can share your thoughts with. If no one's available, that's quite all right. Find a stuffed animal friend that you can share your thoughts with. See you soon. friends. Ollie and I were dancing because they're dressed in a really flamboyant way. Flamboyant means someone who attracts attention for their unique flashy style. Ollie is dressed like this because their favorite sea creature is the flamboyant cuttlefish. It's a type of octopus that changes colors to blend in with their surroundings in their ocean habitat. My friends, lots of ocean animals do this to protect themselves from other predators in the ocean. Ollie, flap your wings if you want to see a flamboyant cuttlefish in our story today. Ooh, me too. My friends, as we read, remember to keep your eyes out for activity stars hidden or camouflaged in the pages of my book. When you see a star that looks like this, point to it and say, activity star, so that I know you're ready to stop reading and join me in an activity. Today's story is called how to Hide an Octopus and Other Sea Creatures by Ruth Heller. <laughs> My friends, where did this octopus get all these activity stars? When there's this many activity stars in the front of our book, that means the entire book. Is an activity. <laughs> Let's read the words to see what our activity is. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. <laughs> All righty. It looks like we get to play a game of I Spy with tons of ocean creatures in their ocean habitat. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> as quick as a wink, it turns to pink or green or blue or any hue. And if you think that's not enough, its skin can turn from smooth to rough. This creature is an octopus and very often hides by changing to the color over which it glides. Ooh. Okay, my friends, take a good close look at the picture and point to where the octopus is hiding. I, oh no, that's, 
That's just a fish. That's not the octopus. Okay, sorry. All right, let me look closely here. Wait a minute. I think. Oh, my friends, I see it here. It's changed colors to this beautiful blue coral reef. <laughs> Let's keep going. It's relative, the cuttlefish. <gasps> Ollie, the cuttlefish. Okay, I can see Ollie is excited. Okay, o Ollie, Ollie. Okay, woo, easy buddy, easy, my friend. There we go. Okay, Ollie, <laughs> let's take a chill, okay? Let me read the story to our other friends so that they can learn more about the cuttlefish. Okay, take a seat, bud. Let's keep reading. Its relative, the cuttlefish, good job, Ollie, could do the same if he should wish. The stripes that he is sporting show that he's been courting, but he can make them fade away slowly or without delay. Okay, my friends, let's see if you can spot the cuttlefish camouflaging into their ocean habitat. Nope, another fish? I'm not gonna fall for that trick again. I don't remember the cuttlefish having any shells. This does look like part of the cuttlefish. Let's, oh, there it is. Ooh, so sneaky. Let's do some more. The sargassum fish, grotesque at best, looks just like wow, its seaweed nest. Oh, wow. All right, my friends, let's look carefully at this page here. Where could the fish be hiding? Hmm. Oh, I think I see it. Don't make any sudden movements. We might scare it away. But I think it's hiding right there. <laughs> the giant red sea dragon is the most bizarre of all the creatures so we've seen so far with ribbons of skin that grow from its chin and from its belly and back. They spread from its head and trail from its tail, and it's easy to see why its enemies fail to find where it feeds among the red weeds. Uh, my friends, I'm having the hardest time finding the red sea dragon. I feel like I'm looking closely, but I can't find it anywhere. Can you help me out? Can you point to the red sea dragon hiding in the red weeds? Here? Oh, oh, he, no. The fish? Is it the fish? Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. I would be so lost without you. Wow. That animal is really good at camouflaging or blending in. <laughs> Let's do some more. The shrimp fish hides and lives and dives head down among the urchin's spines. Oh, look at the beautiful purple stripe on the shrimp fish's body. It looks a lot like the purple stripe of the sea urchin. <laughs> Very smart. And look, this fish is like, what? Where did those shrimp fish go? What the heck? <laughs> Heads up. The pipefish like to play and with the grasses drift and sway. 
Ooh, it's hard to tell what's grass and what's a pipefish. And again, this fish is so confused. It's like, what the heck? Where did that pipefish go? It was here just a second ago. <laughs> The butterfly fish has been designed to make it very hard to find. I can see it right there. Look at how its dark face blends in with the shadows and the yellow parts of the body blend in with the beautiful yellow coral. These are some sneaky fish. The decorator crab is drab and will not rest until it's dressed. So it proceeds to don some weeds and barnacles and sponge, you see, and even an oh, anemone. Oh my gosh, my friends, this crab is dressed very flamboyantly or in, in a way that attracts attention because of its unique style. What a cool way to express themselves. <gasps> I love it. You go, crab. And this fish is like, you look so good. I'm not even gonna eat you. You look fantastic. <laughs> because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But predators to live must eat, so also fade and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. Wow. Oh, my friends, what a cool story about different sea creatures and how they blend in with their surroundings to hunt or to stay safe. My friends, I thought it would be really fun if we played a quick camouflage game before we go. I'm gonna set my timer for 15 seconds. And I want you to go find something that you can use to blend in with your surroundings. If you're on a couch, grab some couch cushions to look like the sofa. If you're in bed, pull the comforter up over your head so you look like a bed. If you're at the kitchen table, get a placemat, a fork, a plate, something to make you look like no child here, it's just me, a dinner setting. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna set my timer and I want to see your best camouflage skills. Are you ready? Here we go! <laughs> Here's the game plan. We are gonna put on these white napkins so that we blend in with our white backdrop. And then when our friends show up, they're never gonna be able to see us because we'll have blended in or camouflaged with my white backdrop. <laughs> Don't say anything. What do you mean you don't think it'll work? What do you mean our friends can already see us? Ollie, I, I don't see anybody. They're right there. What? <laughs> That's an amazing camouflage costume. Wow, you're really good. Are you part cuttlefish? <laughs> Ollie. I think you are right. Our friends are really good at camouflaging. <laughs>
My friends, thank you so much for sharing another awesome story with me. I hope you take the rest of the day to learn about other creatures that use camouflage to blend in with the world around them. I love you. My friends, did you hear something? Feels like there's someone else here with me, but I can't seem to figure out. Oh. <laughs> Ollie! Oh, always spooking me. <laughs> My friends, I like you all just the way you are. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye! <laughs>for joining me for another adventure. I had a blast. Remember to come back every Wednesday for a new story, a chance to meet new friends, and of course, lots of new fun. Can't wait that long? Well, me neither. Join me on Mondays for live story circle sessions and on Fridays for live virtual play dates. Click the link in the description below to get more information. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.